Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'll do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a what's in my bag video and I feel like it is a very, very old school YouTube sort of video where people show you their bag and what's in it pretty much. So my current go-to bag is this Nike Jacquemus Swish bag and I got this maybe a month ago now. I can't remember when it released but I pretty much panic bought it on the Jacquemus website and this is the dark brown colorway. It comes in three different colorways. There is a cream one as well as a hot pink one but I decided to go for the dark brown just because it would probably go well with more things. I'm not sure whether it's showing on camera but it is a very, very dark brown. It's close to black but the official name is dark brown. So this is what it looks like and I don't know whether you guys can see on camera. It's bulging in all the places because as you can imagine, it doesn't really fit a lot of stuff. I really wasn't sure what I was expecting when I unboxed this for the first time. The base of it does look fairly white if you guys can see. So as a comparison <laughs> this is my iphone and you can see it sort of has the width of the iphone which i thought you know what that's great because i could probably put my phone in there but it doesn't fit my phone <laughs> i know you guys are probably thinking why did you buy such a small bag you know i ask myself that all the time if you guys have watched some of my previous haul videos I tend to buy very small bags that don't fit a lot of things. Like I have quite a few of the little Jacquemus bags and I think they're super cute, but yeah, not very practical. So anyway, let me show you guys what's in my very, very small bag. So it just has a zipper and when you open, oh my God, <laughs> something just fell out. The first thing that fell out of my bag is my Patrick Ta lip gloss. So this one here is in the shade Pouty and it is pretty much just a clear gloss with like little bits of sparkle because I don't know I typically don't wear a lot of lip products that like lipsticks and stuff I just like something sheer so I have the Patrick Ta lip gloss and also this Maybelline baby lips in the color cherry so this is sort of like a colored lip balm and it is in this like really sheer red color which I like because I feel like it looks really natural and this is very very old it takes me ages to go through a lip product I carry them with me sometimes just in case I feel like putting it on but like today I do have something on my lips and I used to carry this around this is just the Clarins lip oil and I really really like this product it is in the color cherry <laughs> so clearly I like cherry colored stuff but I really do enjoy this lip oil because it's like really moisturizing and it gives like a nice hint of color and your lips just look really glossy but because I've had it for so long um, it probably shouldn't look like this color it's sort of like leaking a little bit so I don't really put it in my bag anymore because it just gets everywhere but I still really do enjoy the product so if you guys are after a new lip oil I would recommend this but yeah this is the two products that I currently have in my bag I also have my keys in there so this little charm here was actually a gift from one of my subscribers Vivian thank you so much it came with this little Air Dior little keychain but I also added this course accomplice and I think it looks super super cute and then the next thing I have in here this, I don't even know what's the point of this video because there's not many things in this bag to begin with. But anyway, the next thing I have in here is my airport case. So I picked this up from Caseify because I think I saw a sponsored ad for it or something. And I thought it was so cute. So I love Hello Kitty. I think it's just something I loved growing up and to me it's just super nostalgic. So when I saw that they had this Hello Kitty collection, I had to pick it up. Look at it. It is so cute. So it's meant to look like a little toaster and then you can open it up and my airports are in there. And I think it's nice to have a case just because like, it's not like tiny because I have lost my previous airport case. I dropped it somewhere and I don't know where it was. And because of that, I decided that I should get a case for my new airport case. And I like how there's this little carabiner so you can hook it onto your bag or your pants or whatever. And also you can see the little details on the side. This little thing actually turns because it's meant to be a toaster. That doesn't do anything. It's just like a little, you know, the toaster button. Button's not the right word. But anyway, that's my airport case. 
And then the second last thing in my bag is my mirror. So this thing is super, super old and I found it recently when I was going through my drawers. Sorry, that... I don't know whether you saw in a close-up, but it's quite dirty. It is this really old Anna Sui mirror. I feel like this was really popular years and years ago, or at least amongst my friend, like we all sort of had one of these mirrors. And it is, it is pretty much just a mirror. So you have one side that's regular and the other side that's like magnified. So I typically carry this in my bag because sometimes I just feel like an eyelash fell in my eye or I don't know, you know, sometimes I'm eating and then like there's food stuck in my teeth and then no one tells me. So I thought it'd be a good idea to carry a little mirror with me. And then the very last thing that's in this bag is my wallet or card holder. So this one has like the banana prints on there. It is just a really, really, really old Prada one. I think the material is good because, you know, it's pretty beat up, but you can't actually tell it's like scratched or anything. And of course it has the banana prints, which I really, really love. And that is pretty much everything that I can fit in this Nike swoosh bag because yeah the shape obviously is in the shape of a swoosh which i think is super super cute but practicality wise definitely not the most practical but in general i don't carry too many things and i would have loved if my phone would fit in there but it doesn't it kind of looks like it's gonna work out but when you zip it up can you guys see because the phone is quite wide it is sort of like ruining the shape of the bag and i don't want it to like stretch the leather in any weird way so when i carry this bag i always have to have this in my pocket anyway that is currently what is in my bag and speaking of very small and practical bags i also have a new pickup which i showed you guys at the end of the last vlog that i picked up something new from the louis vuitton collection so this is the tyler the creator collab and i don't know about you guys but when the previews came out from that collection i loved it like there were so many little pieces that i thought was super super cool like there was this waffle bag with a mini maple syrup charm i thought that was so cute but i think that is not a product that they actually produce it's more like maybe just a prototype or something but that bag was just so cute but i have a feeling if they actually produce that product it would have been crazy in price because there were a lot of pieces that i liked from the collection but i feel like with a lot of luxury brands there has been a price increase in a lot of things so everything was pretty expensive even though i would have loved to buy way way more i only got the one thing and yeah i don't know about my purchase guys so when i had seen the preview of this i thought this bag was so cute because it was really unusual and um, let me just show you guys because, well, you saw the thumbnail, so you probably knew <laughs> what's in here. The name of the bag is literally Dog on Strap. When I was telling my friends that I really want this dog bag, they all thought it was a bag to carry your dog in, which I don't have a dog, even though I would love one, but no, I did not buy a dog bag. I ended up getting, this is what they call Dog on Strap. So it's literally a dog on strap <laughs> i'm sure some of you guys have seen the campaign images and i just thought this bag was so unusual and super cute and i tend to go for the pieces that are like i don't know to me it looks like very specific to the collection i do like the more unusual stuff so that is why i ended up getting this dog on strap but look at it it is it is really cute and it is quite small and on the back of the bag you can see it does have the monogram but in that multi-colored version or i don't know what's your official name the whole tyler to create a collection features this monogram which i think it's really nice and it's also sort of nostalgic with the colorful monogram because it reminds me of back then of the murakami louis vuitton collaboration as soon as i knew that this collection was coming out i knew that i wanted at least one item from the collection and yeah this is the most impractical purchase i actually would not <laughs> recommend this bag to anyone unless you just love how it looks which is me but practicality wise it literally does not fit anything <laughs> it's kind of just like a mini little pouch and i think it is super super cute so I'll just take out what i have in there that was literally 
you saw that it was a ziploc bag of money <laughs> because i didn't want to put the cash directly into the bag let me just show you so there's a little zipper here and then it is pretty much just the tiniest little pouch like it does not fit definitely will not fit a phone in there I wonder if it'll fit like maybe some lip products yeah it will fit your lip products in there and maybe some keys the worst part about it is that it doesn't even fit my card holder which is quite sad so i know you guys are watching and wondering why are you wasting all this money i've asked myself the same question too <laughs> so anyway if you take your cards out of the card holder you can just chuck your cards in there that's just my mikey oh my god there's just my Mikey card, for example. So you can just pop your cards and like your keys and lip products in there. So if you're the kind of person that don't carry a lot of things with you, this will be fine. I just think it is a very, very cute piece from the collection. And I love how the dog has this little, I don't know, like harness thing and it has the Louis Vuitton logo on there. It is a crossbody bag, so it has this strap that is adjustable. But if you want to carry it as the clutch, you can too because you can take off the straps and just hold it like a little clutch, which I think would look really, really cute. And overall, I, I have like mixed feelings about this bag because I don't know if I'm happy that I got it. Like it's very cute, but very, very, very impractical at the same time. Like if you thought that this Jacquemus bag fit nothing, this is on another level. <laughs> I kind of see this as just like a little accessory and it does look really cool on. I'm not gonna deny that, but for the price, I would say it is definitely not worth it. And I didn't even see this in person before I bought it. Like I kind of, I kind of just bought it, hey. And then I got it and I was like, oh, <laughs> it's a lot smaller than I thought. But anyway, for those of you guys who are interested, I thought, well, I thought I'll just show you what I got. Okay, anyway, let's not talk about that anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed my little what's in my bag slash unboxing. I also wanted to show you this new necklace that I just got recently. It is from Ana Luisa and they gifted it to me, but this is like not sponsored anything. They were like, do you want to try some of our jewelry? And I'm like, sure <laughs> and when it arrived i was actually pretty impressed it's super cute it's well packaged and doesn't this necklace give you a little bit of like golf lafleur vibes a bit like tyler creator kind of not really or is it because i got this bag and i just feel like they sort of go together in a way but the clasps of this is super super cute because it's a flower but if you don't want to wear it in front you can always just like turn it around and you just look like you're wearing a pearl necklace and i think the length is really really nice as well so if you guys want to check this out i'll leave a link in the description bar below i feel like they're having a sale at the moment maybe not i don't know anyway anyway <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you soon bye